Hello friends, today's video will help to build observation and logical skills in children. Both these are key skills to build their IQ and help in overall development. Welcome back to Happiness Mintra. Do like and share your views in the comments. If you're new here, do consider subscribing for many more such videos. So the first question here is, Look at the picture carefully and find the lightest box. Now this is box A, this is box B and they are equal. Okay. Next we have box B and box C out of which C is lighter. So between A, B and C we know that C is lighter. Then we have C and D. Once again C is lighter than D. So ultimately we can say that box C is the lightest box. It is lighter than A, B and D. What is missing in the number bond? Let's check. So this is 17 and 7 which means the apple is equal to 10. Then we have 7 and 8 which means the star is 15. 8 plus 7, 15. Right? And then we have the apple and the star. So which means we have 10 and 15 here. So what will be here? This will be 10 plus 15 which is 25. This is how number bonds work. The numbers which come out from the bond are the total. They are the addition. Next we have this question, study the pattern and draw the shape that comes next. This is a very good activity for logical and observational thinking, analytical thought as well. So this is the first case, okay, so we have two triangles here and the circle here. Then we have the triangles on the side and the circle at the bottom. Again, this and this is being repeated. Remember, this is a question for very young learners. We are working on logic building of 6 to 8 year olds right now. So we are not going to give them very complicated questions. The question here is fairly simple. So this and this are same. This and this are same. So once this pattern is repeated, the one that will come next will have to be number 2 here. So the same pattern has to be drawn by the child once again. They can do it very simply. Just make a square, make the diagonals, put the circle here and just color these. Next we have this question. What is the mass of the circle based on this figure? It's again a very simple question but for children it might be a little complex. They will have to figure out a couple of things step by step. So sequential learning and sequential thinking is again very important for logic. So let's see. We know that the star is 6. Star equals 6 blocks. Now we have a star and a triangle which is equal to 6 and 2, 8. Since the star is 6, we know that the triangle is 2. Okay, I hope this was clear. This is 6. We got 8 here. So the 8 that which means that the 2 extra is because of the triangle. After that we have triangle and circle again giving us 6 which means since we know that the triangle is 2 if we skip 2 from here we are left with 4 which means that the circle is equal to 4. We got the answer. The mass of the circle in this figure is 4. Now the next question here is based on this. So I'm going to show both the sheets together. The question says arrange shapes from lightest to heaviest based on the previous figure. So since we have these values, it's very easy. Lightest to heaviest, which means that the lightest is triangle. Then we have circle at four. And finally, we have the star at 6. 2, 4 and 6. 
that is how we'll arrange it from the lightest to the heaviest next question i am more than 2 plus 4 but less than 10 minus 2 what number am i to solve this so i am more than 4 plus 2 which means i am more than 6 and less than 10 minus 2 which means less than 8 so what number am i of course the number in between them which is 7 moving on to the next question each heart equals 1 so the ribbon is dash units longer than the needle let's first check the ribbon the ribbon is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 hearts ribbon is 7 hearts and we have the needle the needle is 2 hearts so the ribbon is dash units longer than the needle so that's going to be 7 minus 2 which is 5 units longer total length of the pencil the ribbon and the needle are so out of this let's check for the pencil the pencil is basically 1, 2, 3 and 4 hearts. The ribbon we already know is 7 and the needle is 2. So all we need to do is add these. 7 and 2, 9, 9 and 4, 13. So the total length is 13 hearts. Right? Now here a simple thing that can confuse the child is that if they do not make these marks and they just try to see, at times they just check the end points. So that is something that we need to explain to them and make sure that they understand it properly. We now come to question 9. This is all about observation, knowing your shapes and understanding multiple ways in which shapes can be presented. So how many triangles do you see? How many squares, circles and rectangles? Some shapes are very simple, no complication. For example, circle will be exactly the number of circles that you can count. In this case, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay? But in shape like maybe a rectangle, there can be certain other combinations. Two rectangles here are very simple, 1 and 2. Third rectangle, this whole one. Right? So this is one rectangle, this is another rectangle, but we have another one in between these two. We have another rectangle like this here. So these are all possibilities that you'll have to explore with the child. This is something where the child may need help. There's another rectangle within this block from here to here. You know, it starts at this point and moves up to here. There's another rectangle, which is this whole big thing. So there are a lot of combinations here which are possible. And the child will have to sit and observe and mark out each and then complete this sheet. Join each flower to a leaf so that the pair adds up to 20. So now this is basically combinations of 20 which need to be made so we have 14 14 plus 6 gives you a 20 so we have 6 here so all that the child needs to do is match 14 and 6 but it is not all for the child because the child will actually need to calculate and know that 14 plus what number can lead to a 20 similarly 11 and 9 will give 20 19 plus 1 is 20 13 plus 7 is also 20. So number bond combination gets strengthened. The child learns that there are various combinations which can lead to the same answer. All these concepts are very essential to maths and really, really help the child as he or her, she grows older and learns to deal with more complex problems. Happy learning, happy teaching. <laughs>